Nanuga appreciate the organization for believing in the state. Massive show news report is presented in this package. The International Agency for Cooperation and Development of European Union is an organization committed to the development of durable energy and management of climate change in the world. And this partnership with the state government is to further open up the rural communities and provide infrastructure. The visit to the state was to witness the level of development and assess the level of implementation of energy solution in the state. The head of the unit, Mr. Felix Zakio, declared that energy is the key for unlocking the great potentials of any economy. We are very much proud and happy to be here. Within one of the five states where we have the Nigeria Energy Support Program. And we want to uh, talk to you, see how the project is advancing, and to uh, have some lessons learned from you to see how we can do better. Ogun State Acting Governor, Chief Mrs. Yetini Ononiga, stated that the German Agency for International Cooperation which is a critical component of the European Union, had always been a dependable partner in the goal of development and the state is pleased to improve on the partnership. Chief Mrs. Onanuga promised timely completion of the project, saying a lot has been done in the area of implementation. Our people, the community people that are going to benefit from this project, are very anxious to have this brought to their community. This is not this is the first of its kind in that community, and it is the type that will enhance development of infrastructure in that community. The team thereafter proceeded to the beneficiary community in Bambam village in Owe Jabu, where they explained that the project, which is a pilot scheme, will benefit the people and the community in no small measure. Talk with the private sector and with the community how they can work together, and now then we can also bring your experience in somewhere else. A solar hybrid system, solar PV will be 5 kilowatts peak, a diesel generator of about 53 kilowatts back up, um, about 6.6 kilometers of low voltage grid around the village, about 150 something poles which we start up around the village. The people expressed their happiness to host the project in their community and promised to ensure its success. We are really excited to bring this kind of project to our village because it is what we really need. The this, no doubt, is a huge effort at stemming the tide of rural urban migration as the partnership is set to develop rural community and open it up for economic development. The state government has reiterated its commitment to creating an enabling environment for more business opportunity that would enhance the social economic growth and development of the state. Governor Bikula Musu made this known while commissioning Sona Group of Industries at Ijukwata Local Government Local Council Development Area. Yusuf Ghani's report is presented from our studio. Yes, on behalf of His Excellency, Senator Igukule Anosu, the governor of the state, I hereby declare the transportation of the first business to be exported out of this country by the Senate group. I pray that uh, we are going to do more of this by the grace of God, and I say congratulations on this milestone. This is the first one in the history of the country. Thank you. While commissioning the Sunai Group of Industries located at Ijokwata, the State Governor Senator Ibekunle Amosun, represented by the State Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, Otumba Bimboashiru, says exporting from Nigeria to other countries will enhance foreign exchange and investment. Nigeria has good business being an import dependent economy. We are supposed to be an export dependent economy because we are a country that is endowed with a lot of mineral and natural resources. And I'm happy we are working to talk and I pray that this country will continue to grow from talk. And I can tell you on behalf of the SNC that the state government will support you. We will continue to create that element of for the business to try. And you can see that the road in front of you is under construction and hopefully before the end of this year or early next year, it's going to be commissioned very soon. The chairman of Sonar Group of Industries, Mr. Ajahn Merchandani, says it is high time Nigeria foreign-based investors embraced local raw materials so as to create job opportunities for the Timen youth and improve the standard of the economy. 
this company or this group is depending to do 30% export of their production. Based on 100% local raw material. I'm very proud of it. Nigeria will have independence. That's my belief. While speaking with journalist Otumba Bin Boashir stated that first exportation of goods from the company is a welcome development that will contribute to production and wealth, adding that the current administration will not relent in all efforts at creating conducive environment for investors. You see, it reduces the so much burden on our foreign exchange, whereby people are so dependent on foreign exchange to get raw materials to bring in goods. But now, I'm happy that they are now going to be exporting those products out of this country, getting handing foreign exchange, which is very good, which is key to us. And I think a lot, I mean, a lot of things will happen to our balance of trade. And not only that, 95% of their raw materials are sourced locally. So it shows that we have opportunities here. It will have created wealth, jobs for our people in this country. Awards of honor were presented to Senator Ebikunle Amosu and the Commissioner for their contributions to the socio-economic development of the state and the country at large. The ongoing flyover project at LMPC Junction at Berukuta will no doubt add value to the economic situation of the capital city of Ogun State. A visit by OGTV News to the site shows the work has reached an advanced stage. Peter Falomo reports. The 332 meters long flyover along the IBB Boulevard at Beokuta, the capital city of Ogun State, is seen to be wearing a new look. Although the traffic along the outskirts of the Asian city is a bit slowed down due to the construction work, those who spoke with OGTV News believe that the pains of slow vehicular movements will be much more than the gains thereafter. In actual fact, there's no, there's no gains without pains. By and large, by the time this, uh, uh, this bridge finished to, at, uh, to, to its uh, you know, completion stage, it will ease you know, the movement from people coming in from Lagos down to Abekuta and people going out of Abekuta back to Lagos. We should just exercise you know, a little bit patience so that um, as they go on with the construction, then um, we have to, you know, take patience and give ways to, you know, other users. And then um, we have to, you know, a bit of sacrifice, kind of. Well, when it is finished, I believe there will be smooth running of the FECU. There won't be any disturbances of FECU. No ghost no, The ghost no should have uh, uh, come over. We have never seen any breach in Ogun State before. Ever. It is ever. We have never seen it. It is only a Muslim regime that we are seeing this thing. So we really appreciate him. We really, we really appreciate him. The relentless workers on site were seen working tirelessly to ensure they meet up with the deadline as the retaining walls, otherwise known as bridge approaching walls at both ends of the flyover, are equally forming shape. The bridge that started some months ago is expected to be delivered in no distant time. Peter Falomo, OGTV News. Environmental pollution is one of the greatest challenges facing mankind. It began during Industrial Revolution with rapid increase by the day, thereby causing damage to the earth. In this report, Oludo Kemosako seeks the opinion of environmental experts on environment pollution and the human earth. A report. The environment is an important component of human existence. Environmental pollution is one of the greatest challenges that have befallen the world. The causes, effects and solutions to environmental pollution have always been in the front burner of discussions. Looking into these will help identify the causes and the steps that will be taken to mitigate the obvious danger the scotch poses to human health. Environmental pollution is when things that are harmful get into the environment. It may be emissions, for example you have methane in the atmosphere, could be a pollution. You can have water polluted, 
you can have all sorts of air pollution usually caused by if we are not putting the right things in the right place if we encourage or allow pollution to thrive in the environment it also affects in our well-being which is why the use of pollution has the direct correlation uh, to a state of health uh, for example if you uh, talk of uh, pollution of the hair uh, if the levels of emissions are high that tells you that um, the hair quality will be very low anything pollution is much of negativity you understand? because it's not is an unwanted because there are some composition that is expected to be in the atmosphere so definitely when you are when that thing when those gaseous emission are in the atmosphere that will start inhaling unwanted gaseous emission broadly Environmental pollution is of six basic types, air, water, land, soil, noise and light. Experts say they all have varying contributing factors. The noise pollution aspect of it is when there is too much noise. There is giving uncomfortable sound to hearing or human health, as true speakers or anything like that. For example, let us talk about our waste. And waste is defined as anything that you are not using at that point in time. We are not supposed to throw it just anywhere. So as we are throwing our waste to the roadside, the marketplaces, we are actually polluting the environment. And that can result in health hazards. Uh, also, other forms of pollution, uh, talking of noise pollution, if that tries in an environment, uh, it affects the psychology of the people living there and um, sometimes it might lead to insomnia uh, which is loss of sleep and the lights. So uh, basically uh, the state of our environment has a direct correlation to our uh, health and well-being and uh, which is why uh, we always encourage pollution free environment uh, in um, the state. Having looked at the causes and effects of environmental pollution, experts call for a concerted effort on solutions of checking the scourge to have a cleaner and a healthier environment. Ogun State Government will today, Thursday, 22nd of June 2017, present 1,000 certificate of occupancy and other title documents to another batch of beneficiaries under the Homeowners Charter Program conceived by Governor Ibikunle Amosun's administration. The certificate of occupancy and other title documents will be presented by the State Head of Service, Mr. Abayo Mishubandi, at Arcade Grant, Oki Monson, Abeokuta. All contacted beneficiaries are to come with valid means of identification and photocopies of their house documents. The federal government has disclosed plans to hold a retreat for what it has described as a crisis in Nigeria's education sector. Briefing journalists after the Federal Executive Council meeting, the Minister of Education, Adam Adam, said the council rejected a blueprint presented by the ministry and instead called for a retreat to be heard in two weeks' time to resolve the said crisis. Because there are crises in all the areas of education, in out-of-school children, in technical vocational education and training, in ICT, in all areas you can think of. So ministers are going to start talking among themselves to come out with solutions. The education minister also used the opportunity to clear the air on the raging controversy surrounding the alleged removal of Christian religious studies CRS as a subject in the secondary school curriculum. I did on coming to office as minister was to speak to the National Council on Education to disarticulate history from the social studies curricula so that we believe that we need uh, young people to know our own history. Because you cannot know who you are without knowing who your past or who your ancestors were in the past. And the next thing I did was to ask the National Council on Education to accept and agree and it did accept and agree that the teacher of Christian religious knowledge 
has been made compulsory on all Christian students. And the teaching and learning of Islamic religious knowledge has also been made compulsory on all Muslim students. And that is the position. It stated that careers of such news are only trying to create tension in the country and as such should desist forthwith. The Police Service Commission has dismissed an Assistant Commissioner of Police and three Assistant Superintendents of Police for indiscipline. One ESP was compulsorily retired while one superintendent, two deputy superintendents and one ASP had their ranks reduced. The Earth, Press and Public Relations, PSC Ikechuku Ane, in a statement on Wednesday said the de decisions were the high points of the Commission's plenary meeting held in Abuja where eight senior police officers were also given severe remand. The Commission also approved the Restatement of 14 senior police officers who also appealed their punishment and affirmed its earlier decision on reinstatement of two other officers. The statement disclosed that 11 appeals were rejected while approval was given for the promotion of one DSP. The decision of the commission has been conveyed to the Inspector General of the Police for implementation in a letter signed by the Permanent Secretary and Secretary to the Commission, Mr. Musa Estefanos. And as we go on the news, immortality is to live your life doing good things and leaving your mark behind. And I'll conclude the AM news. Sit back and enjoy the Yoruba version that will come shortly after now. Good morning. <laughs>